The intention for most multi-million city projects in Ghana has always been unwrapped. Since Ghana was returned to multi-party democracy in 1992, its infrastructure provision has been donor-driven, with the government often bearing only about a third of the cost of this project. The irony, however, is that maintenance culture among Ghanaians, particularly when it comes to handling state property, is simply abysmal. A drive by Television African News on the recently commissioned N1 Highway revealed the fast deterioration setting in, in the absence of maintenance and in the face of irresponsible use. Metal railings supposed to protect the motoring public have been mangled and left unrepaired for several months. A number of streetlights on the highway have equally broken down with while medians on the road have been swapped by sand and bushes. The inaction of the authorities perhaps explains why these traders are turning the shoulders of the highway into a brisk business center. This decay is not only predominant on the country's road but has trickled down to the several government buildings. At the ministries, paintings on the buildings have peeled out while air conditioners are begging for maintenance. A school of thought most Ghanaians shared with Television Africa News in an attempt to explain this phenomenon is that this attitude was inherited from the colonial era when most people found it justified to run down every asset owned by the colonial masters as a matter of rebellion.